Hey guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here, and welcome back for another Honest Review. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Fortify Clay from Carter Supply Company. So I think Carter is one of those companies that can be a little bit under the radar for some people, but they do make some really great hair products, so I was really excited to try this one out. So I'll say right off the bat, there is a lot to like about this clay, and there's one thing that I really don't like about it, so let's get into this review and we can talk about what those are. So we'll be breaking this review down as per usual and talking about things like the packaging, the scent, the quality of the ingredients, performance, which includes things like texture and application, and hold. And then finally, we'll talk a little bit about the price, and at the very end, I'll give you my overall verdict. Jumping straight away into packaging, you'd see that it comes in this nice heavy-duty glass jar, and it's got this uh, black plastic matte lid. On the top of the lid, we've got the company name, the product name, and then of course, the hold and finish. So here we have a high firm matte clay with jojoba oil. Nothing around the sides, just that clean glass jar. And then on the underside, we have a sticker that we can peel up to reveal the ingredients. So I really like the packaging. I think it's very modern, it's minimalist, it feels nice. I mean, it's a heavy duty glass jar, so it just looks nice on your shelf. And it's obviously very similar to Baxter of California's packaging, which I also like. Now, the main difference between Carter and Baxter's packaging is the size. This may look very similar at first glance, but when we hold the Baxter product next to it, you can see that the Carter one is quite a lot larger. Most hair products that we're familiar with are a 2 ounce or 60 mil size, and this one is actually 2.71 ounces or 80 mils, so you do get a decent amount more product than usual. Moving next into scent, and it just has a light kind of fruity scent. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the cherry scent from uh, Hairbond Mattifier Clay, but it's definitely not as strong as that one. You can definitely smell a little bit of a waxy clay type of smell there too. The fruitiness is not very strong and um, I can't smell it once it's in my hair. Moving next into ingredients and you can tell from the lid of the packaging as well as the description on their website that they are most proud of the jojoba oil that they use in this. And looking at the ingredients list, we can see that jojoba oil is number one. So this is, I guess technically you can say an oil base. It is followed straight away by pure water. So I guess it's kind of that uh, modern unorthodox kind of half and half thing. And with that in mind, it does wash out pretty easily, although it doesn't totally come out with just water, you will need a shampoo. Continuing down the list of ingredients, we have carnauba wax, lanolin wax, and beeswax at the top. So this is obviously a very wax-based clay. We've also got petrolatum in there, and then you'll see the kaolin clay somewhere around the middle, and then we've got a couple other things like Sarah Alba, another type of wax, paraffinum liquidum, another type of wax, and then a couple of other chemicals for smoothers and things, and fragrance down at the bottom. So all in all, I'd say that's a solid ingredients list, especially the jojoba oil is so good for your hair and your scalp. So that's um, just a really nice thing to see in styling products. Now moving into performance, and this is where we're really going to see those things that I really like about this clay and the one thing that I really don't like about it. In terms of texture and application, it scoops out of the jar with great ease. It's very creamy. It breaks down very easily in the hands and doesn't really feel very sticky at all. Although you can feel a bit of tackiness once you've emulsified it. It applies very smoothly into the hair. I don't really notice any tugging or pulling whether my hair is damp or dry. And a little does go a long way. They mention in the instructions, which are listed on their website, that you should start with a dime-sized amount. So that's probably less than usually described in instructions for clays. And that is definitely true. I only use a very small amount of this, and that is enough to produce a strong hold. And that's another thing that's very true about this, the firm hold. This stuff will hold up all day, whether you're in the wind or whatever, it does not matter. This will hold its shape. And as far as the matte finish goes, um, this is, I think, one of the truest matte finish products that I have ever used. You know, most things that are described as matte finish have still some type of a little bit of shine in there. It might look like a nice natural shine, which is totally fine. But this stuff, when it's totally set, it just, it looks like you have absolutely nothing in your hair, which I love. Now, so obviously there's a lot to like about this clay. I really, really love 90% of the things about it. And now here's the one thing that I really don't like. When this stuff dries and it's totally set in my hair, it makes my hair feel so tangly. Now, obviously this would not be an issue if I was the type of person who could just style my hair and leave it be, but 
you guys know me, I like to restyle it and fix it throughout the day and just mess with it or just run my fingers through it every now and then if I'm, you know, if I'm busy at work and doing a lot of things and it starts to fall down, I like to be able to just run my fingers through it and put it right back into place. And with this particular clay, I cannot do that. I can start to run my fingers through it and then when it gets to the ends, it gets stuck and I have to like really kind of forcibly rip my fingers through it, which is really uncomfortable. When I looked at the um, description of this on their website, they mentioned that the jojoba oil, and I don't know if it's actually that or a combination of that and other things, but they mentioned that this adds volume to individual strands of hair. So they say that it's great for people with finer hair types. And I could definitely see that being a thing, because obviously there are products for fine-haired people that are volumizing that I wouldn't use because my hair is thick, it's a little bit coarse, so I think that my tangling problem is probably just because of my personal hair type and that maybe this clay isn't the greatest for people with thick, coarse hair like mine. So as an experiment, I styled my hair differently today. I normally just pre-style with 25 spray by the salon guy. And um, in an effort to make my hair strands a bit thinner, today I pre-styled with 25 and two pumps of Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. So I thought that maybe both of those things combined would make my strands slick enough um, that this extra volume tangly thing wouldn't be an issue. So we're gonna find out right now. So if I just run my fingers through it, um, it definitely did help. It's still a little bit tangly at the very ends, but it's not nearly as tangly as it normally would be. All right, so that's exciting. I'm glad that that experiment panned out because it would have been really a shame if I w had loved so much about this product and I wasn't able to use it because of that one downside. But so just keep that in mind. If you have thicker or wavy, coarse hair, you might run into that issue, but um, it seems to work much better if you use it in conjunction with a serum or something else that'll make your hair a bit more slick. So finally moving on to price. Now this comes in at $19.99 US dollars. And again, this is a 2.71 ounce or 80 mil jar. And you are going to pay about another $4.99 shipping. And of course, I'm sure this depends on where you live, but for me, it was five bucks. So it came to 25 bucks total for just shy of three ounces of product. So overall thoughts, yeah, um, I really like this clay. I mean, as I said in the beginning, there's a lot to like about it. There was that one major issue that I was having, but I'm glad the experiment with the super skinny um, seemed to kind of alleviate that. But again, there's a lot to like. Uh, packaging is very modern and nice looking. The scent is very mild, definitely very, very creamy and smooth, easy to apply. And again, once it dries, it does definitely have a very firm hold and a very matte finish, which I quite like about it. So all in all, I'd say definitely a great product and I'm looking forward to trying some more of Carter's lineup. That does it for this review, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And as always, thanks so much for coming by and watching and we'll see you at the next one.